Ebooks and short reports are extremely valuable and can be used in a variety of ways to generate income over time or instantly. So it all depends on how you do it. You can do it either directly or indirectly, but there are many different ways to use them to profit. So in this short video, I'm going to go over kind of a high level of what I did to get my own business started many years ago, about a decade ago. Um, I got my business started with ebooks and short reports, and I grew it to the point to where I was full-time internet marketer um, and beyond. And then I started, and then I took my business and started expanding from there. But this, what I'm going to explain in this video, will help um, anyone who's struggling to get their business going, to you know, really uh, to get it to multiply, to the income to multiply and turn into something substantial. Um, Again, this is a high-level overview. I'm not going to get into every single little detail, but it's really not that complex of a system. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to portray that in the right way. So first off, what I did uh, when I first started, I was in a few niches, wasn't really going anywhere. I was working to get more traffic to my site every day. You know, I'd get some traffic, and then I'd work to get some more traffic, and work to get some more traffic, and it was like I was constantly fighting an uphill battle. Then I realized there's a lot of value in building a list. You know, they say the money's in the list, and they're very right. There's money in other things, too, but uh, building an email list is extremely, extremely valuable, and that's how many, many internet marketers, most internet marketers, um, have gotten to where you know, successful, you know, guru-type internet marketers got to where they are um, it's with an email list so I realized that and then I realized well how am I going to build this list you know I, I would put up just join my newsletter or something like that wouldn't get many opt-ins if any um, I would try a few different things you could try something like this as you can see here this is uh, just giving away free tips this can work in some niches um, in some niches it won't won't be that effective um, but I realized, you know, giving away a free report really can add value. So, so I wrote up a few reports and a few niches, and I started to get some opt-ins. So the first thing I did was used a, a, just a short report to build an email list. And I did that in two different ways. I created squeeze pages for each report, as you can see here. So in this case, instead of this picture of the, the lady here, it would be a uh, report cover. That would be showing up here and this exact squeeze page and the sales page I'm about to show you here in a few minutes come with um, all orders at handsoffebooks.com so you can get access to that and this is just a simple squeeze page you don't need to have anything extravagant something professional and clean and the most important thing though was my angle I would find that <clears throat> if I didn't put much thought into the the heading here this is the heading um, the angle you know who exactly am I targeting? What exactly, what need am I meeting with this report? Um, I would just throw out some reports. I'd just have somebody write one or two here and there and just kind of throw them out. They wouldn't put much thought into the heading, the angle, and they wouldn't do very well if, 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 if they did anything at all. And I realized that the heading and the angle, you know, what exactly, what need am I trying to meet here was extremely, extremely important. I found that if I hit the right need, if I hit the right angle, I could get thousands and thousands of people to opt in to receive that report. And if I hit the wrong angle to the same audience, I would get very little, if any, people to opt in. So I found that the angle was extremely, extremely important um, with this. And so once I got a good angle, I realized, okay, I'm in this niche and okay so you know you could just sit down and make a list what are some of the things that people in this niche struggle with or what what would they really like to read about what would really help them or you know depending on the niche just whatever the niche is what are the people interested in what are they hungry for what do they want and go from there and, and decide what kind of a report what your report is going to be about decide based off that that is what will make a successful report or ebook before they ever even read it will be the angle that you go after the heading on that squeeze page or sales page whatever it is it all uh, comes down to that angle so that applies to both these squeeze pages using these to build your list and also selling them which we'll get into here in a minute um, the number one thing in both cases is the heading and your angle so what are you helping them with what angle do you have? That's very, very, very important. I can't say that enough. I can't stress that enough. Um, if you don't get anything out of this video, get that. That the angle, the heading, 
who your audience is, what you're helping them with, that is more important than anything. So once you have that though, if you get a good one, you get a good angle, you get a good heading, you can really build a list like this. Just get a squeeze page like this, get it built out to where they put in their name and email. Once they do, uh, they receive the ebook free after they confirm their email, after they receive the confirmation email, confirm, then they receive the thank you page which has a link to their uh, PDF. And then you can also send an immediate instant email out to them so they have a, a link to it in their email as well. Okay, so you do that, and then also if you have a blog, which hopefully you do have a blog in that same niche, um, you can add a opt-in form to the sidebar there, giving away the same report. You can same, use the same image in the sidebar, use the same heading, um, the short heading there uh, to catch them and build your list that way. You can also use a pop-up. Pop-ups are really good depending on the niche. Some niches, um, the demographics, the people think it's annoying or whatever. Some niches it works just fine. Many niches a pop-up's fine. Um, a lot of people will say it's annoying and it might be a little annoying um, but it works in most niches. So pop-ups, sidebar opt-in forms, squeeze pages, all very 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 effective in building that list. So that's the very first thing um, I highly recommend anyone do in any niche, almost any niche, is to build a list. Just you know, write up a short report or order a short report, um, get it done, get a nice professional, nice looking graphic up there and start building that list. Okay, so and then just all that work that you've been doing to try to get traffic, now that's going to work for you in multiplying that traffic because a percentage of those people who you do get there from social media and from you know wherever you're getting your traffic um, will start to even if it's just a couple people a day, I mean it will start to those people will start to be added to that list if you get the right angle, um, and that will multiply. And then every time you have a new post or whatever, you're sending it out. You're uh, broadcasting it out to your list as well which is going to cause a big spike in your traffic and that will just continue to grow continue to go grow continue to grow as you work to get the traffic to your site even if it's a small number now you don't have to work to get hundreds and thousands of people to your site every day now you can just keep on working as long as you're getting a few people a day over time it's going to continue to multiply and continue to multiply even if your work for traffic generation doesn't continue to multiply that will so that's the key there uh, and then once you have that then you can start selling directly so uh, Amazon obviously right here let me pull this over for you you can see we have our camping ebook on Amazon here and that's real easy to do um, to get it up on Amazon and start selling that and you can make a decent amount of money even at a low price tag so uh, a good thing to do is keep it down at like 99 cents to start off once you start getting reviews and you get a few reviews on it um, you get a handful five or ten reviews then bump the price up to like 2.99 and you do that uh, watch rinse and repeat and just keep on doing that and you can make a good deal of money doing that but then you sell to your list um, so whenever you're selling to your list it's probably don't want to sell through the actual Amazon um, you in it, it really all depends on the niche I mean in some niches you'll you'll want to do that and that's going to bump up your reviews it's going to help you out I um, in many cases like internet marketing I'm not going to sell an ebook to internet marketers um, through Amazon I'm just not going to I'm going to do it directly um, and I'm not even going to sell it through Amazon. I'm going. It's going to be a higher priced item because it's more valuable in this niche. An ebook is much more valuable than two dollars and ninety nine cents. And I'm going to sell it directly. So I'm going to set up a sales page. Obviously, this is camping, not internet marketing. But uh, just to give you an idea, I'm going to get a nice looking sales page like this. This is actually a pretty basic sales page, but you have graphics and stuff, a couple graphics here and there, and the ebook cover uh, just livens it all up. And I'm going to sell it that way. So now I can get my new ebook set up on my sales page and then I can send this link out to my list which I generated with my free reports um, so as you can see you know as you continue to just drive traffic even if it's a little bit those leads continue to multiply and multiply and multiply and multiply and then the more they multiply the more other separate ebooks you're going to write and or, or order have someone else write and sell to that list and then all of the people who buy that ebook you're going to collect their name and email and those are even higher quality leads they're going to be added to your list and that's going to continue to increase and increase and increase so as you can see your work stays the same 
but, but the results multiply and that's how it works and that's the goal and that's what I've done over the years and it works very well it all comes down to that heading um, what need are you fulfilling what is your angle what are you helping people with are you really helping them do they care do they want this do they want this information find that out find out what they want find out how you can help them find out what the right angle is and you will find success with this method and in internet marketing people uh, people want to learn how to rank in Google. They want to learn how to make money with AdSense. They want to know how to make money uh, selling ebooks, you know, like this. Make, they want to make money. So if you have a good angle like that and you have quality to provide them, you can actually show them how to make money, then your ebook's going to sell. Um, and then you can also, there's also other ways, other things that you can do with ebooks. Um, what I've explained so far has been the most profitable for me, but there are some people who make money in different ways. Um, I've had a little success building links with PDFs, so just have just a, a, a small PDF uh, written, something with good quality, and you can go to places like Scribd, S C R I B D dot com. Um, you can upload f your PDFs for free. Um, you can go to uh, slideshare.net and you can upload your PDFs for free and PDFs do get indexed in the search engines so um, those links that you have embedded in your PDFs uh, will get indexed and counted as backlinks and depending on you know how you do it where you're sharing it um, it can result in some good traffic as well and it can increase your exposure so it really all depends on your business model your niche and several other factors but that can be profitable as well and then one last method that I've done um, I've had a little success here and there depending on uh, the niche I've, I've been in several different niches um, and in some niches I had no success and some niches I had a decent amount of success doing this but you can also just write a report just maybe a short report um, and embed affiliate links or links to your own products etc in there and then you're just giving away the direct link directly to the PDF um, and you're profiting from the affiliate sales that are made through um, the ebook um, or the direct sales to your other products, etc. And that can work. It really, in many cases, you need quite a bit of traffic for that really to be worth it. Um, but really, depending on your niche, it really depends on several different circumstances on whether that makes sense to do that or not. But it can be profitable. So I hope that helps. That's what I've done over the years to make a, a pretty substantial amount of money. Um, just with the same amount of work generating traffic even if it's just a little bit of traffic um, doing that will help the results to multiply while your work is about the same